Hello, my name is David Walla-Widnick, the resident cocktail stylist of Taste Magazine. Today, I'm here to celebrate the spring of 2023. And to do that, we're involving a little Irish whiskey. This Irish whiskey is, it's got a fun little backstory. You see, in the 1800s, it was called the Cork Distillery's Old Irish Whiskey, a really long name. Well, in the early 1900s, a salesman by the name of Paddy had basically peddled it into popularity. And as a tribute to him, they renamed it Paddy's Irish Whiskey. Today, we'll make a cocktail that I'm calling the Paddy Cap Collins. Synonymous with the Paddy Cap, a very popular hat that Irishmen wear. This Irish Whiskey, complemented with a little fresh grapefruit, a little honey cordial, and a little fresh lemon. And then we'll top it off with a little grapefruit soda. It couldn't be easier. So let's get at it. Start off by taking your shaker tin and we'll put an ounce and a half or 45 mils of Patty's Irish whiskey. Then to that, a little fresh grapefruit. Fresh grapefruit juice is definitely important, but if you don't have fresh, at least buy the best quality grapefruit juice that you can get because it will make a difference. That was one ounce or 30 mils. To complement that, a little fresh, freshly made honey cordial. Honey cordial, you just lighten it up with a little bit of water. You see, this is two thirds honey, one third water. If you don't add the water, the honey's gonna kind of congeal and seize up a little bit in the cocktail. This one, just a little splash, 15 mils, which is also half an ounce. And lastly, to pull back on the sweetness of the honey, a little splash of lemon, quarter ounce, which is about seven to seven and a half mils. Just like that. Well, let's add a little ice and give it a shake. I don't wanna shake this one too much because I don't want to dissipate the carbon dioxide and the soda afterwards. So we'll do a nice little shake on that. And while I'm at it, Let's add a little bit of ice to our glass. Just a few cubes, and we can add a few more later. Let's give this a shake. Using my Hawthorne strainer, I'm not even gonna hold back any of those fine little shards of ice because they're just going to Complement the drink. Now we can top it off with a little bit of grapefruit soda. And we can even add a few more ice cubes. See, by adding in the soda right beside the ice, it mixed beautifully with all the other ingredients. But just to ensure that it did, I can push down that ice a little bit and make sure it's all mixed well. Now, let's make up a really quick little garnish. Super easy to do this. We'll take a sharp knife and cut off part of that peel. Now, I wanna get rid of all of that on the back side there. So lay it flat, take a knife, very carefully cut that pith right off. See, I was exposed right there. Now I can cut this intentionally to make a nice little design. And a little something like that. Take this glass, express the oils right over the surface, give it a little twist, and there you have it. That, my friends, is the Patty Cap Collins. If you like this recipe, go pick up a free copy of Taste Magazine. It's available in all the BC liquor stores for this recipe and many more. I look forward to seeing you again real soon.